Hi, this is Rad from ML Sports Cars. Here yeah, we've got an absolutely amazing Porsche 981 Boxster S. Absolutely incredibly looking. It's a 2014 car, registered June 2014. And it's finished in a very desirable colour called GT Silver Metallic, which is quite a timeless colour for um, any Porsche because um, it's quite a bluey silver actually. So although it does have metallic silvers and golds in it, it's got quite a lot of blue as well. So it's very popular in all the different models, 911s, Caymans and Boxsters. And um, the person that first spec this car obviously had great taste because they've also specced it with, which I, I think is one of the few colors that really suits a red hood is this silver so there's a red hood and also the extended um, natural garnet red leather with uh, red stitching so you've got with with the extended leather packages that came as standard with 911s but it was optional on boxers and caimans so you didn't get leather on the doors except on the armrest um, you didn't get it on the dash either um, you just got it on the seats, um, either half or full leather on the seats. So this car was specced with basically leather everywhere, including the, uh, this is something I've never seen before, It's uh, but I've seen it in the options list, and that is all of the, the trims also specced covered in leather. So that was all from the factory. So everything... These would typically be, be uh, Galvano silver, like these door handles there, including this section here, the bit behind the steering wheel and also on the other door, plus this section here. Someone specced it all in garnet red leather, and it's all in amazing condition, absolutely unmarked. The seats are also very special because they are the fully adjustable electric seats, so they're 14-way adjustable, so there's lumbar support, there is knee support as well. So this section moves out. There's lumbar support cushions in here which inflate with this control here. It's height adjustable both uh, the front and rear of the base separately. So you just pull up that side to lift the back, that side to lift up the front. Even moving it forward and back is, is electric. It also includes um, full memory on the driver's seat. The electric steering column which is also another option is a fully electric steering column. It remembers where that is. Um, you can set it to the keys as well as two additional settings and it, uh, and it remembers where the mirrors are as well. Plus all the profiles for locking the car, uh, temperatures, that kind of thing are all stored in the, with the keys. Absolutely sensational interior. The exterior also has the um, optional painted rollover hoops they're normally like a, uh, this this finish here so like satin black plastic just like uh, this section here um, so it's really nice that they've been finished so when you've got the hood down you can, they really make a feature of those rollover bars that come on all boxers absolutely amazing very very striking car on the outside also it's got the uh, Boxster S Mark II wheels, so um, they're 19 inch, which again is another sort of like connoisseur's choice because um, the 20s do ride really well, but the 19s I feel do ride that little bit more suppler. Um, it's got a much more supple ride on 19s. People prefer them in the UK with 19s. Obviously they don't feel the arches in the same way the 20s do, but if you're driving one of these cars, um, I think you'd prefer the 19s if you had the choice between the two. And they've got Pirelli P0s all round, N1 rated, you can see it shining there, N1, and are all matching. So they've got lots of tread left, as are the rears. Now with it being a Boxster S, it means it's got the guards red brake calipers, which have got the Porsche inscription on them. Discs and pads are also in great condition as well. Still life left in those. There's the, the wear, wear markers on the outside edges of the fronts. The rears I don't think have them. But yeah, there's a Porsche inscription. It's somewhat lot clearer there. 
Um, they come with a bigger, bigger brake setup than the smaller engine 2.7. So this is an S, so that means it's got the 3.4 litre flat six, produces 315 horsepower. It will do 60 in around 4.7 seconds. And onto a top speed in the 170s. So a very quick car. Um, the 3.4 direct fuel injection engine is a great engine. Um, they made this, they use this engine up until basically early 2016. The last ones were registered. And um, it's a very reliable engine. Doesn't suffer any issues like bore scoring, IMS bearing, failures at RMS oil silly. It's very reliable engine, which is why we sell them specifically these. This era, uh, 2009 to 2015. So the 987 Gen 2s and the 981, like the one you see here, are, in our opinion, the best of the modern Porsche because you've got that flat six sound, you've got the performance, and you've got reliability as well. And you're seeing that in prices. These prices of 981s are holding up very, very well. Actually, they're worth slightly more than the four-cylinder, the 718s, the, the later the later model. 718s are actually not holding their values as well as, as these 981s. These are getting harder to find in this kind of condition. So this car is only covered, um, let me just see, 20,796 miles. And it actually has full Porsche service history. And it comes with um, an extendable Porsche main dealer OPC warranty as well. So that runs out 4th of March, 2024 from memory. And that can be extended one, two or three year packages available. And they can be um, warranted, I think up to 15 years old. This is a 2014, so it's uh, nine years old. So you can have the full peace of mind of having it under Porsche warranty. It's fully compliant with, with um, uh, being extended, renewed on the Porsche warranty because it's got the original Porsche battery, it's got N rated tires. In fact, Porsche last sold this car uh, to the last owner about three, three years, three or four years ago. It's got three previous owners and they've all looked after it very well now i'm going to carry on with the with the options so it's got the folding mirrors as well which which can fold when you lock it and they've got um welcome leds and they're only available on the folding electric folding mirrors they're not available on the non-folding or manual folding mirrors that that come as standard um as i said it has the full memory system for the seats it has the bose 10 speaker i think it's 400 and 445 watt system so that's the that's a great sound system fitted to this car auto lights um, it's got the pd pdls dynamic cornering lights as well rear led tail lights which look fabulous yeah so these are the 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 upgraded headlights which rotate as you go around corners it's got the headlight washers as well daylight running lights down here and also we've just had new brand new air conditioning condensers fitted not because the air conditioning wasn't working there was just damp patches in in the corners of one of them so we've replaced both so they're absolutely brand new so uh yeah the shit, there'll be no worries in terms of air conditioning in the future the other really nice option on this car which i haven't had on another boxer before is the ventilated seat so it's got not only heating but ventilating so it blows cool air through the seat to keep it cool stops it getting sweaty when you're on a on a really hot hot day and on a drive on a long drive it's really nice to have that air blowing through the seat all these little holes here are are um it it, it blows the ventilation through let me just turn the car on because that's what you want to hear so it's already warmed up i mean it sound, sounds absolutely phenomenal it's got the uh sport button so that um makes the it's the it's the setting you'd want to use it if you were trying to drive a bit quicker um so it, it basically makes the um, throttle more sensitive to your inputs it also makes the gear changes quicker and also um, holds gears for longer so it makes it much it, it makes it a sport
bore to your profile. It also has the optional power steering plus, so it also stiffens the steering at higher speeds, more so with the sport button. It also has the optional uh, PASM, so uh, Porsche Active Suspension Management, so that's with the button there, and you see it enable sport chassis. Um, that basically makes all of the damper slightly stiffer, um, and when it's disabled, it's actually a really nice, comfortable ride, actually softer than a car without PASM. So that's a car without PASM also sits 10 mil higher than this car all the time. Um, but when you enable that, it makes it slightly stiffer than a car without PASM, and it's always sitting 10, that 10 mil lower. So I'll just show you that there's the ventilation. You turn it on there, it's a three stage system, and you can also have the heating also there because basically this is blowing ventilated air through the seat. It's not actually uh, cooling it per se, but it's just keeping the airflow through the seat. Um, so they're called like ventilated seats. Um, it has a full um, air conditioning system as well. And it has another cool option. There's a little button, you may not see it, but it's just there, um, which is steering wheel heating so that's another really nice option on this optional multi-function steering wheel so it has all the controls for the the stereo um, pick up and hang up calls it's got the full phone system as well so my phone is paired to it automatically via bluetooth you've also got the universal audio interface you can wire you can wire connection your phone or a 3.5 mil I'll just say like mp3 and you can even upload mp3s to the optional jukebox as well so there's a 10 gigabyte jukebox to put your own mp3s in and then it has bluetooth audio streaming so you can wirelessly um, play your music and the full uk and europe sat nav system is all there as well all installed with full postcode recognition cup holders as well which will work as they should which are uh, really useful if you have a coffee in the morning or something um, and it has a, a 12 volt supply there it also has uh, what's called a smokers package which is a bit misleading but basically a lot of people spec it because it fills in this section here with a little cubby hole um, I'll just show you it hasn't used, been used for smoking it's just literally to tidy up the center console rather than having a little open cubby there which is actually too small for your your phone it's really just for coins and things um, that just finishes it off nicely it's not a huge cost option but it's just a nice little addition that someone's thought of to basically stop dust collecting somewhere it's nicely covered and it sort of finishes off that that center section there really nice it's got cruise control as well it's the optional cruise control system it's also got tire pressure monitoring as well so on this screen here you can have the live view of, of the tire pressures um, you've got phone you can view what's on the stereo and the map as well which is really great as I said it's covered 20,796 miles and I'll just show you all levels all good that's how you check it when it's warmed up and idling Well, actually that'll work when you switch it off as well but it just needs to have warmed up it needs to have gone through a heat cycle um, no errors on this car um, we've plugged this in to Porsche Diagnostics so there are uh, just range one and range two over revs but at literally 8,000 miles old you can see all that as a PDF on our website um, you go to the advert if you're on a desktop use it's on the right hand side just below some of the statistics of the car um, if you're on a phone you scroll all the way to the bottom of the advert and there's a PDF there as well as the sales brochure the original sales brochure of these cars when they were new from Porsche is all there for you to download that PDF also includes the full service history so who's ev every single stamp in the book is in there um, all the force all the four services as well as the supplying dealer serve, um, stamp as well as, and also the full options list which is what I'm going through now but you can see it yourself in your own time and that is all printed out in a lovely file I've forgotten to bring it with me to show you it I normally have it there and I talk through it but it is all there to view online so you can look at that at your leisure and then get in touch with me if you're interested in this car but yes this car has got 
um, only range one and range two over revs which are at or just below the the red line so it hasn't been thrashed hasn't got any range three four five and six um, its whole life um, and then servicing wise the next service is due January 2024 28,400 miles or um, mile, and the next mine is due March 2024 basically you would get it all done together in 2024 but it's in yeah as I said beautiful beautiful condition everything's working as it should and um, the other options are oh yeah there's another very unusual option which is uh, garage link so you can basically have three different electronic items that use key fobs like electric garages electric gates that kind of thing can be uh, learned by the by the car and then you don't need all the key fobs on your keys or in the sense console you just press those buttons to say open your gates close your gates open your garage door close it all of that is an option which is very special on this car um, it also has the auto dimming mirrors um, both the center and also the side ones and it also has the auto wipers so it's a hugely spec car in fantastic condition let me just show you the hood which can be operated with the controls in the center there but you can also open and close it with the key um, if you press the lock button so that's it going up with holding down the lock button there we go it's got a glass heated rear screen we've fully treated this so it's in absolutely brilliant condition as you can see and then to unlock uh, to open it remotely you just hold down the unlock button you can see it all folds nicely in this little compartment just above the engine because he's a mid-engined obviously rear wheel drive where a sports car optimally has its engine and its layout So here is the rear boot. Again, incredibly practical cars. If you don't need more than two seats, then these are fantastic cars to go on a road trip with because they've got this quite decent sized boot at the back, um, which can fit golf clubs in. There is a video I've produced showing you that, exactly how they fit in. You know, at the front, you've got another boot which actually goes all the way to the floor and it actually has the optional Porsche boot protector there. There's the wind deflector, which is removable, which slots in between the two rollover bars. So if you're driving at speed with the roof down, you don't get buffeting. Even without it, it's actually quite good. You don't sort of get too much uncomfortable turbulence through, through the cabin. It's just been designed so well with that screen. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is all in great condition. All the tools are, are there um, and it also has this original or actually it might be a replace but it has a Porsche genuine battery which is vital for the warranty with Porsche and it also has the original Porsche tire compressor in there as well as you can see all these plastics are in great condition just like the rest of the car and the only thing I haven't showed you yet um, I think I've got everything in terms of options covered but um, Oh, also the keys, the keys are coloured, so one is red and one is silver. So that's a really nice finishing touch, I think. Um, I was going to show you the spoiler. So that comes up at speed itself automatically, or you can manually put it up, but that's it fully up. Has the stainless steel um, tailpipes as well. The full exhaust, exhaust system is uh, stainless steel as well, so it lasts very very well and it sounds phenomenal as you would have heard when I started it up so um, yeah in summary it's uh, absolutely brilliant 981 Boxster S GT silver metallic with garnet red natural extended leather and the red hood which I think really really completes the look of this car and makes it look very, very striking. 
absolutely brilliant cars to drive as well. The, the boxes and the Caymans, but the boxes are great because you've got the added enhancement of no roof. So you've got the sound of the engine a little bit more, but also you feel like you're, you're with wherever you're going. You're in the environment rather than being cocooned away from it. And also with the hood up, it's actually doesn't sound very noisy because it's a double skinned hood, fully waterproof obviously, but um, it can also be operated at speed. So you can operate it up to around 35 miles an hour, roughly up or down. So you don't have to stop at the side of the road to put the hood up. You can just uh, press the buttons in the middle and it will do it all for you. Um, if you have any questions about this car, if you're interested in buying it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.